Dear friend, in this tutorial, I would like to show a demo how to plot 2D graph in Opti system. Let's start with. These are the points covered in this tutorial. We will start with the last tutorial sample, so that it becomes easy for a beginner to understand. Here I have changed the layout size from here. Let us make the eye diagram look better. Since we have lowest attenuation in 1550 nanometers, let us change the CW laser center frequency. I am selecting here the wavelength, and adjust it to 1550 nanometers. In our case, we are using on-off keying, so let's put the bitrate and symbol rate same. For other modulation formats the symbol rate will vary accordingly. Run the simulation. Here we can see a better eye diagram, near to an ideal on. You should a longer sequence length, to test the system response like the practical case. With increased sequence length, the simulation time also increases, as the system is tested for more number of bits. So, how to set the sweep parameter let's see. Go to layout menu. Click the total number of sweep iteration. Higher the number of sweep iteration, more the number of points to plot the graph. Here I have selected 10. Let us consider the BER versus input optical power plot. For doing this, go to the CW laser and you have to put the power and sweep form like this. Click in power, it will select all the values. Here one can use any spread tools. For this design, I will select the linear end. You can choose any starting and end values which give you a better graph. It will linearly increment the input power value from starting to end value. Now let's run the simulation. It will repeat the simulation from 1 to 10, for various values of input power. The overall simulation time depends on sequence length, and UPC hardware configuration such as, processor architecture, frequency, and RAM frequency.
Now the simulation is completed. Now let us see how to plot 2D graph. Let's go to the report tab. Click on the Opti 2D graph. Click on hold, then drag as per your requirement. Here we have to use the project browser. It contains all the components with their parameters, results, and graph. In Psi CW Laser, we will look for power. Click on hold, drag to the x-axis of the graph. We can see iteration by default, which changes from 1 to 10 as we said it before. Now we need to change it to BER. Go to BER Analyzer. Find minimum BER and drag it to the Y axis of the 2D plot. This will give you the min BER versus input optical power plot. To get a better graph, change the input power range, and again run the simulation. I have cut the simulation running portion from this video. Again go to the report tab. It will automatically show the graph that you considered before. We can further modify the graph. Repeat the same process. Now, the graph looks good. Here we can see that, for more input power, the BER is getting low. In this way, you can also plot maximum quality factor versus input optical power. Here we can see that, for more input power, this system performs better, provided that there is no fiber nonlinearity effect. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, 
and subscribe to my channel.